I've had somebody ask me was I contagious before. I felt like I wanted to hide the tumors because I didn't want to make other people uncomfortable. I'm like, uh, I probably shouldn't completely unclose myself, you know, when I go to the pool or to the beach. Today, I get to go hang out at the beach. I want to wear something cute and revealing. I'm going to go without my shorts. I'm just going to be free. My condition is neurofibromatosis. It started probably in middle school. They start to like grow in size and grow in number. The tumors first started appearing probably like the chest, belly area, I believe. Hiding my skin, like hiding my, you know, so I have a couple of like shirts that are like turtleneck, um, wearing long jeans on a hot day. If I could wear long sleeve, I would wear long sleeve shirts. I've always kind of wanted to cover up to avoid having to explain. I didn't want to make other people like uncomfortable. And I didn't want them to further make me feel not confident in myself. You have those people that were just cruel, like they'll look at you and be like, oh, what is that? You know, why you look like that? And I've had somebody ask me, was I contagious before? It's still difficult. It's a work in progress, like every single day. Some days I have good days and I'm like, girl, you bad. And then other days I'm in the mirror like, Ugh, this big old bubble in my face is just getting on my nerves. I hate it. I hate everything. But I'm thankful that as I grow in age and maturity and wisdom and all of that good stuff, that I'm like, forget, forget whatever it is that's causing me to feel this way. My own irrational thoughts, the opinions of other people, forget it. I want to be just as free as the bikini wearing and crop top and sports bra wearing girls that nobody questions. Today is the big day. I get to go hang out at the beach. I want to wear something cute and revealing. I'm going to go without my shirt, without my shorts. I'm just going to be free like normal. My boyfriend and my daughter, oh my gosh, I wish she was here so you guys can meet her. My daughter, she's a major confidence builder for me too. Every day she tells me she loves me. Mommy, mommy, I love you. You're the best SS. Every day she tells me how beautiful her mommy is. When I met Anthony, my boo, close to you. <laughs> um, I met him at work and literally it's been five years um, since that time. First waking up in the morning, the first thing he tells me is, babe, you're so beautiful. And he calls this one the meatball. That's my favorite one. And they do not want me to remove it for anything in the world. <laughs> it's so perfect. <laughs> it's it so is. weird. I believe she's absolutely gorgeous. So. When she covers herself up, and I know that that you know that she doesn't really want to, I'm usually the one that's just like, don't, don't do that, don't do that. Be you, be the best you, and if you do that and go out here confidently, just the same way I see you're beautiful, your beauty is going to be undeniable to anybody else who sees it. I want to show more because I can. I mean, I can't, like, why not? Just slightly nervous, just, you know, it's the weekend, so if it's a lot of people there, I don't really want that vibe of, you know, where people stopping and looking, but I'm excited. I'm excited to go to the beach. I like this one. If there is any point in time where you're ready to learn or where, where you're ready to have an open conversation, then my doors are wide open. I actually am a little bit more anxious than I anticipated. There's a lot more people here than I thought would be. It's gonna be like some unveiling. I am 
incredibly proud of Alex and she's come an incredibly long way. I know it's been a journey. Now that I'm not hiding my body anymore, I feel normal. I feel like I belong here. I get to put my story out there. And I get to be in a position to kind of let other, you know, ladies and guys know, like, if you have something going on that people can physically see about you that is outside of normal, you know, what we call normal, you are still fabulous. You are still beautiful. You should let your light shine, you know, for the world to see. So, the future for me and Anthony, he better put a ring on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding.